Hey guys, welcome to the Total of Solid Work. So today we are going to see that how can you dimension counter board and counter sunk holes. As you can see, I have, I have made this uh, part model which is uh, like this. So I have made three different types of uh, holes. This is the counter bore hole which is going through, and another counter bore hole which is not going through, which has some depth, and a counter sunk hole. As you can see, it has this. Uh, uh, the ends this is a conical shape on the top so it's a counter sunk hole so this is going through all the way as you can see here so now how can you make how can we give dimension in the drawing sheet for these types of hole as you can see here we have given this so how can we give this so let's start go to file go to new and go to drawing select the drawing file here this part has already there now click on this next place this is uh, the front view you can place it here if you move it mouse your cursor you can get the top view and you can the, get the bottom view we don't require the bottom view here so we are just going with these two views so move this a uh, little bit down and now as you can see you can't see the holes and you can see the origin so go to view and uh, click on the origin so that you can't get the origin here and not to get the view if you click on this you can see here hidden line visible make it hidden line visible so that you can see the lines the whole the, the lines from the hole so now as you can see you got this three holes different types and you have this top view so now we are going to give the dimension to the top view for giving dimension go to annotation go to smart dimension and now first we need to define this length and this one so we have defined this to length so we are going to use the uh, iso like the iso uh, iso specification iso format to giving dimension so we have give this uh, length and breadth now go to horizontal dimension and give the horizontal dimension for like this and then for this hole and for the third hole so you need to define all these dimension which are going to which are going to make your uh, model correct now go to vertical dimension give the vertical dimension this as you can see it's, it's taking the from there so you need to first of all click on escape to vertical dimension select this you got the angle now you can see you got the dimension from the center so make it like this and this is the same as this one so you don't need to, you don't need to define the another one and again go to vertical dimension the center of the hole this this point and give the dimension and so as you can see it's very con uh, congested you can move the dimension a little bit down like this you can make this somewhere here or so it depends on how you so like this move it a little bit here and this here you can move this here. so now this is the uh, iso format which you have defined so now we have defined the position and the circle now how to give the radius all these things for this counter bore and counter sunk for that you need to go to hole call out as you can see hole call out and now just select this and as you can see here you can get this part so you can see this uh, there are this diameter which is having of 2.76 units is going through all which is like this the smaller diameter the, the smaller diameter is going through all and the bigger diameter is going with only depth of 1.75 so this is 1.75 you can check this if you want so that's 1.75 so you you can get all this information through only this this uh, single part single single drawing, drawing and now for the another hole which is counter board this one you can get this thing and 
for the another hole which is this you can see you can get this part so now you can see the things so for this you can check that it has a counter sunk part you can see this arrow this means it is counter sunk so and this means it is also counter sunk and this is counter bore so if you if you realize that um, what is this so you can get this is the diameter this is the depth and this is the near side at an angle of 90 degree but this is one uh, for the 1.48 so this will give you this the angle will give you the inclusive angle of counter sinkhole and this is the diameter for that hole and this is the symbol for counter sunk so the similarly for this it's a symbol for counter sunk the inclusive angle inclusive angle of counter counter sunk counter sink hole and the red, uh, two diameter for that two holes so as you can see here so it is giving you this part you getting me so for this hole you are getting this counter sunk counter sink part which is of diameter 1.48 90 degree near side so and for this you can get this part as a counter sink and you got the dimension here so in this way you can give the dimension to counter bore and counter sink holes so if you find this video helpful like it and uh, subscribe my channel thank you